Hey Furies, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be deep diving into the world of ColourPop. Listen, listen. ColourPop is one of those brands that have been around literally for like ever. I've just been seeing a trend happen with this brand and I just gotta, I gotta converse. I have to chat. ColourPop literally is the sheen of makeup brands. What does that mean? <laughs> ColourPop is literally a makeup brand that launched in 2014 and it was one of the most popular makeup brands between 2014 to like 2017-ish. It was so popular, you guys. As you guys know, that was like the highlight time on YouTube for like the OG beauty gurus. Everyone and their mama had a ColourPop lipstick. Okay, everyone, liquid lip, or they had like one of those, I think it was one of like one of those pushy ones, like a pin, one of those. I think they've been reformulated now, but literally everybody had one of those. The motto behind ColourPop that I did not know apparently is it's a makeup brand that is intended to not break the bank. So that is one of ColourPop's huge things with their makeup collection or their makeup line. All their makeup is basically affordable. Everybody can buy ColourPop. ColourPop is reachable for literally anyone because of how affordable their products are. ColourPop, you to sell exclusively online you could not get them anywhere in store but now they're sold in Target and Ulta I believe I don't think they're sold anywhere else and it's kind of revolutionary and full circle because there was a time where people wanted to buy Colourpop and they couldn't because not everybody likes to shop online but here they are now in retail stores. Now let's talk about what would be, in my opinion, the downfall of ColourPop, okay? Listen, we're gonna talk about how many collections that ColourPop drops continuously. And if you know, you know. Listen, ColourPop drops a makeup collection literally every five seconds, every breath that you're taking right now, another ColourPop collection has dropped, okay? <laughs> but no, it's just to the point now where they literally drop makeup collections every two weeks. And as a consumer, it gets so overwhelming to continuously try to keep up with the supply, not the demand, but the supply of ColourPop in their makeup collections. And to be completely transparent, in my humble opinion, I think a lot of them are recycled. Recycled colors, recycled formulas, recycled shades, and they're just packaged into a nice little cute collection that matches the aesthetic that they're promoting. Also, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of ColourPop formulas are inconsistent. Not really their eyeshadows. I feel like their eyeshadows are actually very down locked in my opinion they're always really good especially the super shock shadows but the lipsticks and lip glosses can be a little meh so i remember when they dropped lip oils a couple of months back and i love them i'm sorry not lip oils lip stains they dropped lip stains a little while back and i loved them we went together real bad but after like a month they started separating like the formula looked really weird and funky and they didn't smell good either so i'm just like what the heck so i don't know if that's just me let me me know down below your opinion about ColourPop formulas as a whole. Have you experienced this as well? I would love to know. Back in the day, ColourPop was just one of those brands that anyone could buy and it was also marketed towards everyone. I feel like the aesthetic was very simple. It wasn't doing too much and they had good, they had a good lineup of products. Blush, eyeshadows, obviously lipsticks. It was good. Recently, I want to say maybe about two years ago, maybe, ColourPop started marketing towards more kid-like audiences kid like teens early adults I don't really see their makeup being marketed to like adults and I'm not saying adults can't buy their makeup but it's like you can tell that they're not their target demographic they've been coming out with a lot of cartoonish tv show collaboration uh collections or the collections are just very kid like they're not very mature in my opinion I don't know what if I'm really trying to say it correctly let me know down below if you get me that's just my opinion and that's just how I feel I definitely feel like now in 2023, ColourPop is shifting towards more of a kid-like audience. However, ColourPop is just one of those brands that literally everybody knows. You know the name. Everybody knows the name of ColourPop. They have definitely made their mark in the makeup community, not only for being trendy and having viral products, just being that brand that's been consistent in pushing out products and staying consistent with the keep up. There have been so many trends since 2014 to now, and the fact that they've still been able able to stay afloat is amazing. Do you guys not know how many brands went bankrupt in the last couple of years? Like a lot of big brands, Becca, BH Cosmetics, Revlon went bankrupt, Morphe went bankrupt. Like come, we're not talking about like some regular small everyday brands. We're talking about big names. And ColourPop has maintained to stay afloat. Now I think that's an amazing thing. Now one thing that I do want to touch base on is some of their launches. Like I feel like ColourPop is one of those brands, which is why I compared them to Sheen. They put out fast 
fast fashion makeup or fast makeup. They literally slap packaging on it that's really aesthetically pleasing or it goes with their promo and then they push it out. Sometimes they have themes that don't even have any research behind them. Particularly, I wanna talk about two collections that I feel like were very rushed. The first one is the Avatar The Last Airbender collection. That collection was extremely disappointing in my eyes. I like the eyeshadow palette. I like the eyeshadow palette. But everything else within the collection, I feel like they could have just done so much better. I feel like with cartoons and TV shows, you have a lot of room to play, especially since there's like already known personalities and stuff within the show. So you have to get acquainted with the show to really target that audience that loves makeup, but also is in line with that show. And I feel like they completely missed the mark, but I feel like they completely, completely missed the mark with the Naruto collection. You guys, the Naruto collection pissed me off. I'm not even gonna hold you. It pissed me off. If you don't know, I am an avid anime watcher. I haven't watched all the anime in the world, obviously, but Naruto is an anime that's actually very near and dear to my heart. So when I saw that they were launching a Naruto collection, I was excited but nervous at the same time. Automatically. Frankly, I thought the collection was just gonna be like Shonen Jump, which is like early Naruto with young Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, which I was right, you know, in predicting that. But it's literally the fact that they just slapped packaging on these products, Naruto packaging, and labeled it a Naruto collection, and it wasn't authentic at all. If you are a Naruto fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They had names under certain shades that didn't even match. There's this one lip oil that they have called Chakra, and if you watch the show, you know it's blue. Chakra is blue, or a nice translucent blue. They had gold Chakra, and I was like, okay, well maybe that could be Chakra from Naruto. Naruto tends to have orange Chakra, but even with some of the eyeshadow shades they just did not line up with the show and the aesthetic that they were trying to push is you know super cute ninja vibes anime vibes blah 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 and I just feel like if you're trying to break into a new audience you have to do your research and that's with anything it could be anime TV shows, fashion, all that. You have to do your research or you may piss off a specific part of the audience that you're trying to reach. And here, I feel like they completely missed the mark. I've made videos on TikTok talking about ColourPop branching into the anime community because I feel like since they're so animated and they have all the bright colors and they've had so many collaborations, I feel like it would be perfect. I personally say that they should make a Studio Ghibli collection, but after seeing this Naruto collection, I don't know but I really hope Colourpop took the feedback that they got from the Naruto collection because they had a lot those comments y'all when they showed the first viewing of the Naruto launch you guys people in the comments were pissed and I was weak but I hope they took that and they're going to do better on their next release because child you can't mess with the anime community they're mean okay the anime community does not play authenticity okay to wrap this video up I would love to see Colourpop come out with slower launches slow down the launches hold on calm down I would love to see them collaborate with musicians personally and you know maybe give the TV shows and stuff like that a little break just a little break we're a little tired and I also just want to let you guys know no shame to ColourPop I'm not bad talking ColourPop I love ColourPop I have a ton of their products that I love but I'm just opening up the conversation of ColourPop and what they've been doing lately and I just want to know your guy you guys's opinions on ColourPop as well but anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for listening and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.